New at five, a family celebrating their two new bundles of joy, but it did not come easily. Yeah, the husband and wife were heading to the hospital when they were hit by an alleged drunk driver. That crash sent the mom into labor early. Fox 35's Caroline Coles met with the family and has details on their road to recovery today. Ronisha Brooks was 35 weeks pregnant with twins Mackenzie and Michaela when she and her husband Andre were on the way to the hospital. I was more so like, will my babies make it? And I heard both parents going back home to the other children. The couple was in this Kia SUV when they were driving along South John Young Parkway in Orlando early one June morning around five. The couple says they were just minutes away from the hospital when they were hit by a red sedan, which caused Ronisha to go into labor early. One of the twins ended up having to stay in the NICU unit. One of the placentas erupted and it was bleeding in inside. So, you know, once the placenta erupted, it's hard for the baby to eat and do anything. The crash, which actually happened on Andre's birthday, broke his neck. And my neck won't be able to turn and, and move like it used to without surgery, and I can't, I can't do surgery and be out of work that long. Speaking of work, Brooks says he's been out of a job ever since the crash happened back in June. He says he can barely move his neck and can barely pick up items that weigh more than five pounds. Meanwhile, Ronisha says she has fractured bones in her back and pain throughout her entire body, also making it tough for her to do many tasks. I can't go back to work doing what I was doing. I'm like CNA. I can't do it. My um, right hand go constantly numb. So it's like he changed a lot. The couple says life has not been easy, but they are grateful they are still here and able to hold their baby girls tightly. God bless me. He gave me another chance at life. He, he had me here for a reason now. Reporting in Kissimmee, I'm Caroline Coles, Fox 35 News.